Hello, welcome to this lesson of linear algebra. Here we're finally going to talk about eigenvectors and calculating eigenvectors. What we need to do is find the eigenvalues first, and then we go back to the original eigenvector equation, put them into there, and that's what allows us to find the corresponding eigenvectors. So let's revisit a problem that we have done before. We've already found the eigenvalues for, and that is 1, 2, 2, 1. It's a very simple 2 by 2 matrix. And we already know from before, because we found them, that one of the eigenvalues is negative 1, and the other eigenvalue is positive 3. Those are the two eigenvalues. So for, for this eigenvalue, we expect to get an eigenvector. And for this eigenvalue, we expect to get another set of eigenvectors. So what we do then is we break it up and we say, for lambda is equal to negative 1, and then we do some calculations to find the vector associated with that. And then we say for this one, and we do it on another board for the, to find the vectors associated with that. There's really no way around doing a lot of work for these things. They're not too hard, but uh, we have to revisit our original problem. If you remember, it's a minus lambda i times x is equal to 0. That's the eigenvector problem that we used uh, several sections ago to test if eigenvectors were actually eigenvectors of a matrix or not. So what you need to do, now we say that we have an eigenvector, we have a value of lambda that works, so we just plug it in. So we write this matrix, the A is given here, it's 1 minus lambda, that's what this is, 1 minus lambda, but now we know lambda is negative 1. Then we have 2, then we have 2, then it's 1 minus negative 1, right? And we say that this is x1, x2, which we're saying is x, and that's equal to 0. So basically we take the value of lambda, we stick it back into the eigenvector problem, right, eigenvalue problem, in an appropriate location, and we basically try to solve it. Now if we come down here, what this is going to give you is a 2, 2, 2, and 2. x1, x2 is equal to 0. So what we've done is we've taken the eigenvalue, we've put it into the equation. Now the only unknown here is the values of x1 and x2, which we call as a unit, we call it a vector, an eigenvector. Okay? So this, the answer to what's in this column matrix is the eigenvector associated with this. But if you look, this is kind of weird because it's all the same number. So if I want to solve this for the values here, there's many ways I can do it. I'm going to do row reduction. All right? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have 2, 2, put my dotted line here, 0, because that's over here. And what I'm going to do is, let me just try to get zeros down here to try to, to try to simplify this using row reduction techniques. So I can say negative r1 plus r2 in an, in an effort to put a 0 here. So if I take negative of this and 